Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected viewers, welcome back once again to Al Islam Productions. Uh, a quick reaction video. I've just been sent uh, a video um, of the, I would say, most senior Salafi, Salafi alim on the face of this earth at this moment in time. Um, when I say Salafi, I mean the pseudo Salafis um, who they revere, who they follow. Uh, they're one of the, uh, you know, uh, common uh, seniors, even amongst the subsects within the Salafiyya, the Madakhila and the other ones, they all look up to this um, individual, um, you know, they see him as a big sheikh and his word is uh, a very, very weighty uh, word. Now, in this clip, right, which I'll show, um, he's very clearly, he's being asked regarding the kissing. Taqbeel al-Mus'haf, kissing of the Mus'haf, meaning a copy of the Noble Qur'an. لا دليل على ذلك إنما فعله بعض الصحابة اجتهادا منه المصحف لا لا يقبل ولا ي... إلا أنه ي... أنه يحترم ويحفظ ويرفع ويستعمل في التلاوة ه... هذا حق المصحف وأما أنه يقبل أو يرفع على الرأس أو ما هذا من فعل العوام والجهال نعم ما brothers الحمد لله we've grown up um, seeing our parents, um, you know, uncles and aunties, grandparents, elderly people. I myself, alhamdulillah, I kiss the mushaf. I love the mushaf. Um, you know, we we promote kissing the mushaf, not because, not because, you know, it's a command in the Holy Quran, not because we feel or we're gonna fabricate hadith saying you must kiss the mushaf and you'll get this reward. No, we're not doing it for the sake of reward. We are doing it because we love the Mus'haf. And we will continue to kiss the Mus'haf. Whether we have a Dalil or we don't have a Dalil. Certain things do not need Dalil. Kissing a Mus'haf. For Allah's sake, you need a Dalil to kiss a copy of the Holy Quran. But if someone doesn't kiss the Mus'haf, it doesn't mean he doesn't love the Holy Quran. The rights of the Holy Quran amongst them is reciting the Holy Quran, acting upon the Holy Quran, learning the Holy Quran, you know. Uh, but this is just something people do out of their own love and connection with the Holy Quran. There is nothing wrong with it. There is everything right with it. Okay. We are not claiming there is a specific reward because rewards can only be uh, coming from Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But now look, this shaykh is saying, uh, when asked regarding kissing the mushaf, he says, he starts off by saying, some sahaba did this. So firstly, he's acknowledging some sahaba did this. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Then he says, they did this out of ijtihad. So this was their own deduction. This was their own kind of um um conclusion or this was their own ijtihad and inference that le you know led them to this conclusion uh, uh, um of uh, it being permissible there is nothing wrong with kissing the mushaf a copy of the holy quran fine okay even this part is fine right okay then he goes on to say but the mushaf towards the end he says kissing the mushaf okay is from amongst the action of the ignorant layman. Astaghfirullah. Look who he is um, targeting. W where does this go? This goes towards these people, okay, attributing Sahaba and their actions to ignorance and ignorant laymen. This is a form of belittling the noble Sahaba. So, my brothers, these people we've mentioned again and again and again, right? That this claim of Quran and Sunnah, this look of, you know, looking very knowledgeable and wearing, you know, the, the uh, Saudi style dress and sitting on, you know, uh, uh, big chairs where you're teaching Durus in Masajid. Don't be deceived by this. 
because these people are not on the way of the tradition that has been passed to us over 1400 years. We're not saying everything that has been passed to us is always agreed upon. There are differences that have come within the Ummah. But look, something as simple as this, if you want to say there is no clear hadith upon this, or there is no command of this, fine. But if you're going and then, okay, we, we, you know, we'd, we'd accept that or we'd at least tolerate that. But to go down the line of linking Sahaba with the ignorant laymen because of them kissing the Holy Quran, my friends, I cannot digest this. I see, I see this as disrespectful. I see this as, you know, something which um, is totally against the noble, high, lofty, esteemed, revered status of the Sahaba. And I feel that this needs to be highlighted, right? And it is this same thing, my brothers, that causes us to see people in the Haramain Sharifain putting the Noble Quran on the floor. And when you ask them, please raise it. Um, they say, what's your dalil? What is wrong with it? Give me a proof that this is wrong. I'm not saying Sheikh Saleh al Fawzan is commanding putting the Holy Quran on the floor. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, when you start saying this is wrong, and you accept the Sahaba did this thing, and you say this is this action is the action of the ignorant layman, then I am sorry, but you are disrespecting the Sahaba, and the 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 reverence that people had for the Holy Quran. You're actually saying stop this and stop this and stop this and stop this. If someone's doing it, he's not doing it because he feels it is fard or sunnah. He's doing it out of his own love. And anything which is done out of love for the Holy Quran, for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it does not fall into anything which is impermissible. It's not falling into shirk. He's not claiming its reward. How is it bid'ah? Sahaba did this. So my brothers, this um, thing needs to be highlighted. Um, this sheikh, um, you know, needs to revisit this opinion, this, this whole, where is this coming from? This mindset needs to change, right? And those people who say, we are harsh in our approach, but look at this. This is towards the Sahaba, isn't this harsh? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to remain just. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين